Uh, last time that we looked at this painting, um, it was not nearly as finished. And there are other things going on behind the, this photograph, but I want to talk about this particular area of the painting right now. The um, precision that is required to reproduce what uh, Stubbs uh, was working with uh, requires patience and a very fine brush. This is a triple aught um, Series 7 Winsor & Newton brush. These are watercolor brushes. It's, uh, it's, you need something like this for the real um, sharp detail, especially the highlights because you want those to really pop as if they're, the light is hitting metal. So here there <coughs> are um, three straps on this bridle. It's a double bridle, uh, the a double bit. It has a curb chain and you can see all this indicated. Um, and of course in Stubbs day people would have been much more familiar with that sort of thing because horses were a part of everyday life. But uh, I just, I'm going to go ahead with the detail now. First, I'm going to put in the uh, light catching on this, these uh, buckles on the bridle. And then we have to consider the bit. And the bit, as you can see, is has a very long shaft. It's a light and a dark side. This will not be the lightest light that we see, but it's for me to work over. There's also a shaft on this second uh, curved bit. I don't want to put too much emphasis on the chain that's going around uh, the horse's uh, under the horse's mouth. So I'll indicate it very uh, lightly. Another buckle back here. I don't want that to be as bright as the first two. And I'll indicate the ring. There's a ring here. And the rain on this side comes about down to here, not to hit about there. The one on the other side is a little different. The angle of it is different. We'll come back and straighten up those uh, edges. I do use my fingers. I do a lot of finger painting. So we'll, we'll work back into this area a little later because it has to work over the uh, shape of the animal's body that we already have down. I have pre-mixed a color for these highlights. 
I'd like for them to be fairly uniform wherever metal appears in its painting. So I'll go back in and clean that up, but now we have the general shape of, of this, uh, the hardware. You'll see that overall, okay, if uh, the, the tone of this is considerably different from this reproduction that I have, the reproduction of the photograph uh, that this print was made from uh, was taken before a cleaning and I have another photograph of the same painting after the cleaning so you can see there's a dramatic difference I want to keep uh, some of the freshness of this but with the warmth of that had existed um, in in great part through the uh, discoloration of, of the varnish. So I know that uh, the original painter, George Stubbs, meant to have more detail down here than we're actually seeing, but it has disappeared in the cleaning process. I would like to keep that simplicity, but I'm, I'm working to keep a balance between uh, the artist's original intention and what we see uh, now if we were to look at this newly cleaned painting. So I know we looked at this painting earlier when it was just being laid in. Now you can see that it's come a long way and we'll look at it again as it nears completion.